Today I'm going to show you a vehicle rental script created by this person. It allows players to rent a variety of vehicles from multiple locations around the map, which can all be customized to your liking. While in the rental menu, players can also view pictures of the vehicle so they can choose what's right for them. If they damage the vehicle, they get penalized, and if they happen to misplace it, they can return to the rental location and track the vehicle. I have a link to the resource in the description where you can check out all the features as well as a preview made by the creator. I hope you enjoy the video. The link in the description takes you to the resource where you can look at the preview, dependencies, documentation, key features, and important information. If and once you purchase, go to your key master and your granted assets to download. Once it's done, open it up and open your server resources, then drag it in. Then go to your server CFG and ensure it. After that, hit file and save. The next thing to look at is the config. So go back to the resource folder and open the config.lua. The first option here is the field system you use. Every option has what's supported in the commented out text. Next is the interaction option. I'm going to change it to QB target. That's followed by the notification and phone type, which I won't be changing. Next is the webhook and logo URL, which I'll come back to. And the last thing up here is the images path, which doesn't need to be changed. The next section is for the rental locations. Every location has commented out text that tells you where it is. For each, you have the cores, ped model, zone, blip, and spawn points. I'll attach what the default ped and blip looks like. If you want to change it, I left links in the description to the sites for ped models and blips, and I'll change the lesion parking location as an example. So I'll start with the peds and go to the site, and once you're there, find one you like and copy the name. So I'll choose this one, then go back and highlight the model that's already there, then paste what you copied. The blips are similar, so again, I'll go to the site and find a blip I like. I'll choose this one, then copy or remember the number. If you want to change the color, it's the same process, so I'll go down to the colors and choose 8. Then go back to the config and put the numbers in. So the sprite is the blip, which is 326, and the color is 8. If you want to add more locations, do so by following the format of the ones that are already there. And the last section here is for the rental vehicles. You have the model, the display name, the price, and the image. So I'll add another one by copying the last one and pasting it and renaming the information. The model is the vehicle spawn name. If it's a default car, you can find the name in the vehicles.lua. And if it's an add-on car, go to the folder for the car and into the vehicles.meta. Then look for the name next to the model name section. I'll change this to the car I want. And change the display name. I'll make the price 300. And for the image, I have a picture I took earlier, so I'll find it and copy it. Then go to the resource folder, into the images folder, and paste what you copied. It's important to remember the name so it matches in the config. So once you know the name, go back and change it to match the image. The last thing to do is add the webhook, so go to Discord and create a new channel. I'm just going to call it rental. Once created, go to edit channel, then integrations, and create a webhook. Once created, copy the webhook URL, then go back and highlight the placeholder text, and paste what you copy. Then hit file and save. That's all you need to do. You can start your server and test it out. So I'm in the server now, and on the map you can see the vehicle rental locations.
And here's the one I changed for Legion Parking, so I'll go there. Once in the menu, you can view the vehicles and select one to rent. So I'll choose the one I added, and the picture looks nice. You can also choose to pay with cash or money from the bank. Once the vehicle is rented, there's a notification and an email sent on the phone. So I'll get in and drive it somewhere random. And I'll just leave it here. Then I'll go back to the rental location and track it. And it lets you know it's been marked on the map. And it shows a blip and a waypoint. So I'll go ahead and go back. And get in again. Okay, now go ahead and return it. Okay, it lets you know you got a refund and the vehicle deletes. That'll be all for this video. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and a sub. If you have any suggestions, feel free to comment down below or join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Thank you for watching.